Welcome back to the channel. This is Simon Cromer and today we're in beautiful sunny Cape Coral and we're working on a 25 foot sea hunt. So we're going to be doing a full boat wash now. I have a lot of other videos. I will throw those up there on the screen for you guys. But what makes this video different is we're going to be covering a lot of the aftercare. So instead of me getting all the washing and the drying process, we're going to be getting a lot of the aftercare. So you guys are going to get to see what I'm putting on vinyl, what I'm doing to bright work, what I'm doing to plastics, all this great stuff, windows underneath the hard top. So you're going to want to sit back and relax and watch this one. You're going to get a lot of knowledge, a lot of information out of this. We just did the 1% detail on the outboard only, so that is fully coated in ceramic DNA. So I love working with this client. Um, number one, he cares about his boat so much. He has a lot of passion for it. He likes to keep his boat protected. So we're basically piecing this boat out and you know we're gonna be working eventually on the whole boat, but we started with the outboard. It's got the 1% detail. Next up, um, I believe is the non-skid and then we're gonna take care of the rest of the boat so just an amazing client to work for and it's still post hurricane ian so i only have a few active clients this being one of them one of the boats that did survive um there's a little bit of damage on the hard top but other than that we're in good shape so guys with that said let's go ahead and get started <laughs> Here's what we're going to be washing with. So we have Stark Pure Clean. So this is just a quality pH balanced soap. Not going to strip any waxes, coatings, going to support ceramic coatings, a really friendly uh, boat soap to use for your boat. And then we have Super Clean. Super Clean is going to be used only for the non-skid. The non-skid is not coated with anything, not coated in wax, polymer or ceramic coating. So typically, if that's the case, you're going to have to use a degreaser to clean the non-skid. So that's what we have super clean for and then we have a chemical guys hand mitt this is how we're going to do all the washing in the um, top side of the cockpit area and then we have a scrub brush for the non-skid so this is a little scrub brush from menards two or three bucks and that's all we have um it's going to do the whole entire top side and then we're going to have a sure hold blue brush and a telescoping pull for the hull and that's going to be it so super simple this is a maintenance wash it's on a two week schedule very easy, very simple to do. Let's get started.
to this point, we've washed the whole boat. The only thing left is the non-skid. So we have super clean, we're gonna spray this. We're gonna go ahead and spray a little bit around the whole non-skid and then we're gonna come back, do this really quickly, rinse it off, and then we're all set. So we just gotta wash the haul and then we'll be on to the aftercare. Now that we washed the entire boat, here's what's up next. So now we come to the aftercare. So really we have three products for aftercare. And what it's gonna look like is we have glass cleaner, Adam's glass cleaner. It's a green product. I like it a lot because it's a stronger glass cleaner. So it works great for boats and removing water spots. We have Adam's detail spray. This is excellent for lubrication. Basically, you're gonna use this to wipe down fiberglass, um, and really it cleans and lubricates any surfaces, whether you wanna do vinyl, but I usually just stick to fiberglass. And then we have 303 Aerospace Protectant, so nothing new here, just a simple quality protection that's gonna last for a week or two um, on your vinyl and your plastic. So these are the three products. Let's go ahead and get started. I like to start off with glass, so we're gonna grab, or we're gonna to try to find our glass towel. So we got a bucket of towels right here. Here is our glass towel. This is an Adams glass towel as well. You see it has a flat side here and a smoother side here. So we're gonna start. We're just gonna start right here and work around. So now obviously we washed the glass when we were washing the boat. However, it's almost impossible to get it perfect and leave no water spots. So this is really just a quick wipe down. Um, like I said, the the windows are clean we just have to remove any tiny little water spots that remain on the glass so it's really not hard it's a very simple process just going to be a quick wipe and no problems here if you take good care of your glass this is all you're going to have to do and this boat is on a bi-weekly schedule so um we're working in nice conditions we do have a canopy above here so the boat stays relatively clean, can't get water, um, you know, stays protected from the sun. So that definitely helps a lot. All right, that one's good. The one tip with glass cleaner is you gotta make sure you wipe it completely off or you will leave streaks. So you only wanna use a little product and make sure you wipe it off fully. Make sure your towel is dry. If you get a towel and it gets super wet, you're gonna to have to switch it out for a new one.
Some boat owners might be content with just the wash and the dry. I just like to give it a little extra sparkle, a little extra clarity so that when the owner is, you know, driving the boat, they have a clear view all the way around. So that's just something I do. This right here is a little piece of glass as well. Just gonna touch this up really quick. All right, and that's all we have for glass. So glass cleaner is done. We'll put that here for now. This is done as well. Um, okay, let's go ahead. Next up, so we have the lubricant spray. Now, this is what you're gonna use. You're gonna wanna make sure you have a nice ultra plush towel. So here's an ultra plush. Here's an ultra plush. This is an Adams borderless ultra plush. So you're gonna notice I do like Adams products a lot. Adams, Start Got Care, and 303, great products. So we have our ultra plush, and we wanna use this for smooth fiberglass because this is going to reduce the amount of scratches. So you're gonna notice these towels, they tend to scratch a lot because they collect little dirt particles and the more you use them over and over and over, the more dirt particles become collected in this and it's harder to remove. So there's different quality. These ones are decent, but there are some really bad ones out there that collect a lot of dirt and dust. And when you're wiping, you're gonna scratch your fiberglass. So I just always stick to an ultra plush when I'm working with any fiberglass, any gel coat or any paint. So now I did clean this two weeks ago. So I'm just gonna do a touch up and I'll show you how this works. So underneath the hard top, all we're gonna do is just spray a little bit up here and give it a wipe. In all honesty, this is really similar to an SiO2 in terms of the slickness and, and the protection. So it's a really easy, great product to work with and you just gotta use a little bit and it cleans any surfaces really easily. So another one of the products that I really enjoy using So I like to pretty much clean under the hard top about pretty much once a month, depending on use and how it looks. I just would make sure that you don't let this get out of hand. So just keep an eye on it, make sure there's not salt sticking to it. There are a lot of other products like this out there, so don't think you're only limited to this product. If you like an SiO2 spray, that will work as well. So, you know, Replenish, Regenex. We also have Stark um, Hydrate. That's a waterless wash. So any waterless wash products, those will do just as good as well. All right, so that looks pretty good there. And you also can use this for bright work. If you just wanna do a quick touch up on bright work, you don't actually want to take out the metal polish. You're not doing any of that or you're not adding that in the detail or the wash. Just take this really quick and just wipe this down. So I'm not really doing any metal, just the metal up here on the dash to clean it up a little bit. But like I said, this is not a detail, it's just a wash. So there we go. and. We're pretty much good here. If you want to wipe the outboard or something down, you can always do that. And we're good to go. So, for like I said, for example, you can come up here, you can wipe this bright work down. Just gets rid of all the water spots, cleans it up a little nicer. Okay, and this is good. If you're in a pinch and you don't have 303, this actually will work for your vinyl. But we do have 303, so let's go ahead. And now we can use any ordinary towel. So with the vinyl, it's a flexible surface. We can use any towel, doesn't really matter. So we're just gonna use this towel right here. And how I like to do this, 
Just spray a couple sprays on, wipe it in. You guys may have seen me use this product in the past. Like I said, it's just a simple, easy, fast way to protect your boat. No harsh chemicals. It's a water-based product, and it's gonna give you about a week or two of protection. So nothing on the super durable side, but it's great for boat washing. It's great for maintenance washes when you have washes on a schedule. Over time, your towel will become saturated, so you won't have to use as much product. Um, let's go ahead and I'll show you the plastics and then we'll finish off this vinyl back here. So we can also use this for plastics. So I just give this a good wipe down. The towel's already saturated, so we don't need a lot of product for plastic because it can't absorb a lot. This will restore plastics, um, I would say medium medium oxidized type of plastic. It's not going to restore plastics that are way out of hand, way gone, but this will restore anything that needs just a little touch up, a little brighten, um, something that needs a little more depth of color. This will do the trick. Okay, and that's how I do the plastics. Let's finish up this last seat. Okay, and just like that, vinyl is done, and that is going to be a wrap to the boat. So, this was our boat wash. This was the boat wash on the 25 Sea Hunt. And guys, with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment. Be sure to share this video with other people. The more people we can reach, the more people we can help in terms of boat owners, boat detailers. Guys, if you haven't, be sure to check out my course, topdocpro.com. Go to the top, click on the tab courses, and you can purchase Detail Like a Pro, which is a beginner's course for detailing businesses. And with that said, you're going to want to stick around for the after footage right now.